We're continuing with onion on our series on onion. This is a uh, chopped onion. Um, we're gonna make a very simple and easy prawn curry, stir fry prawn curry. We're going to brunoise or finely dice our onions. Um, I'm going to use just one sort of large-ish onion. Just make sure that when you dice, you've got your fingers tucked out the way and we get a nice even dice on here. I actually chop this bit at the end as well so I don't waste anything. Um, and then these bits I just chop up. There. So I have got one onion and one large onion, two garlic cloves. This is going into some hot vegetable oil here. And I am going to also add a little bit of salt at this stage. What we need to do is not brown the onions, we're going to just let them turn a slightly um, golden, just when they start to turn colour, we want them to be translucent really. And if I find that if we put in the garlic at this stage with the onion, um, it gives a much better flavour and the salt, you know, does stop it from browning too much. Continuing, we got to this stage here with our uh, onion. So you can see slight colour, nice and translucent, nice and soft. So at this point, you would go in with a little bit of turmeric, maybe quarter teaspoon, little bit of chilli powder, just a little bit of chilli powder. We've already put some salt in and just be wary because obviously, Prawn, seafood, fish, they naturally have um, a high salt content anyway. So you can go easy on the salt. You can always add it later if you want to your taste. The most important spice in this is cumin. This is what will give it the flavour. There's about one teaspoon of cumin. And we're going to stir this around a bit. Just to let it all get, get together. I am also going to put in a chilli. I'm going to put in a bullet chilli. These aren't as spicy um, heat-wise as uh, the normal green chilies, the finger chilies. They have a lovely flavour, really lovely flavour. So I would just add this just so that they release the flavour at this stage as well. And so you want to continue cooking this until your spices don't smell raw. You, you'll understand what I mean when you, when you smell it. It just smells really lovely. Right, so the chilli has gone in um, and you can see it's getting a bit dry. Now what I really find that's very helpful for you to have when you're making curries, especially those uh, where your heat is quite high, is that to add a little bit of water um, just to um, loosen everything up a bit and prevent things from burning. This is all done and the chilies are nice. If you don't want to use, have such an intense chilli heat, you can just put the whole chilli, you can just make a little slit in it if you want, and put um, the whole chilli in at this stage, so it will release its flavour, um, but won't release as much as the chilli heat in it. This is ready to go, you can see that the oil has come away and it's coloured. And we're gonna go in with some prawns. This is a normal, just a packet of prawns, uh, I think it's about 180 grams, you know, 150, 180. And you're just going to stir fry this. We are on a sort of a medium high heat until they turn pink. Right, so the prawns are done. You can see how they've curled up a little bit. Um, and at this point, I'm going to add some fresh coriander. And I'm going to add just a few which are onions as well, but they give it a lightness and a freshness. Switch it off. Stir it together. It's so nice, so quick. So fresh and light, um, but it's supported the onions, pad it out a bit, give it a bit of base. And what I would do off the heat is just sprinkle in, squeeze in a little bit of lime juice or a little bit of lemon juice. And that's the point.